Finally, Hyundai confirms the Envision 74 for production. Hyundai will launch twice as many hybrid models over the next decade. Electric and petrol versions of Vauxhall's new Frontera cost the same, starting from 23,495 pounds. Finally, Hyundai confirms the Envision 74 for production. The wedge-shaped supercar will be one of 21 electric models launched by the Korean automaker by 2030. After years of speculation and rumors, Hyundai has finally confirmed plans to put its highly popular Envision 74 concept into production. The announcement comes as part of Hyundai's plans to debut 21 new models by the year 2030. Hyundai snuck the news into a slide at the company's annual CEO and Investor Day presentation, mentioning the Envision 74 as one of its future high-performance EVs. There's no word on powertrain or performance specs for the production-bound Envision 74, meaning it's anyone's guess as to whether Hyundai will keep the concept's 671 horsepower hydrogen fuel cell or adopt a fully electric drivetrain. Considering the lack of mass adoption for hydrogen power, we'd bet on the latter. Back in December, we heard a rumor Hyundai would be putting the Envision 74 into production in extremely limited numbers, with just 100 planned units, 70 for road use, and another 30 for racing. If production plans really are that small, Hyundai could probably get away with retaining the hydrogen power plant without too much pushback. That same report claimed the production Envision 74 would make 800 horsepower from its hydrogen dual electric motor powertrain. Another report from the Korean car blog claims the number will be closer to 775 horsepower. Suffice to say, this car will be very quick. Hyundai hasn't released any details on production timing, other than that the car will be out before 2030. That report from the Korean car blog suggests production will start in 2026 and that R&D for the car is already underway at the company's Namyang Development Center. We suspect it will only be a matter of time until camouflaged prototypes begin to appear on the road. Hyundai will launch twice as many hybrid models over the next decade. Korean brand changes tack in wake of slowing EV sales Hyundai is planning to ramp up its range of hybrids from 7 to 14 models. At a brand investor day, it outlined a plan to introduce twice as many hybrids, including some into the Genesis brand, promising improved performance and fuel efficiency. Although the Korean car maker will continue to create electric vehicles, stating an ambition of 21 models by 2030, it's said there's a need for a shift away from pure electric and create extended range electric vehicles, EREVs, to serve as a key bridge to full electrification. Because another acronym was exactly what the EV market needed. But EREVs could be handy. Defined by Hyundai as a new type of EV with a range of more than 900 kilometers, 559 miles on one charge, they'll be aimed at the North American and Chinese markets. Jehoon Chang, boss of Hyundai, said, Under the Hyundai way, we will respond to the market with agility thanks to Hyundai's unique flexible response system. This will secure sustainable leadership in an uncertain market environment and strategically position the company to create a future centered on mobility and energy. Hyundai will strengthen its position as a game changer by expanding beyond vehicle manufacturing to various forms of mobility. By enhancing the role of energy business operators and realizing a hydrogen society, we intend to transform into a company that can maintain global top-tier leadership in the era of energy transition. Electric and petrol versions of Vauxhall's new Frontera cost the same, starting from 23,495 pounds. The moaning about expensive electric cars looks set to continue. Vauxhall has a new simplified approach for pricing its cars. It's taken the Frontera Electric and Frontera Hybrid and, in a show of dogged common sense, set both cars at the same price. UK buyers can opt for either a Frontera Electric, 
with a 186-mile range, or the seven-seater, 2.1-liter petrol hybrid Frontera from 23,495 pounds in the design trim. Alternatively, a push to 25,895 pounds will bag you the GS trim in either powertrain guise. The difference? The GS gets you bigger 17 inches alloys, body colored bumpers, roof rails, and extra tech in the cabin, including heated seats, wheel, and windscreen. Vauxhall has thrown in extras like Tesco points for either purchase and a free wall box or a year's worth of charging credit if you're thinking of making the jump to electric. It also tells us that a 248-mile long-range version is coming next year. According to Vauxhall's figures, there's currently an average price difference of 31% between electric and petrol models. And this isn't the first time we've seen the Stellantis brands addressing the cost disparity between EVs and ICE vehicles. At the start of 2024, Peugeot got within striking distance of matching its pricing on EVs and ICE cars by creating a similar monthly payment. That meant the cost of refueling the petrol car outstripped the higher monthly cost of a new E-308 plus the energy to recharge. Nice try!